What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL World? How you doing, Division Rivals? This is Steven Hyder, Gate City Sports Channel. The sports channel where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. All right, y'all, judging from the thumbnail and then the title of this video, you guys probably have a pretty good sense that we're going to be talking about the Eagles' defense on the first series of the Atlanta game. You guys know that I have a theory here that I can tell you far more about a football team by seeing the worst in the team, the worst drive, the worst plays. I can tell you where the lack of execution is. I can tell you where things need to be improved, and I can tell you whether I think those things can be turned around quickly or not. I always subscribe to the theory of don't show me your best, show me your worst, because I think it's far easier to be fooled by your best than the worst. So in this game, to me personally, the, the, the series I walked away from initially, feeling like, oh boy, that was not good. Like, I'm a little concerned about this defense. I was concerned with the first drive of the game, because it just seemed like Atlanta methodically moved the ball down the field. Now, I will say right from the jump, ladies and gentlemen, I do not have copy to the All-22 yet. They still have not released it on Game Pass. I mean, I think some guys have commercial access, so they're getting, they're getting their footage. But for all the rest of us, you know, who have the basic, you know, coverage with them, they, they have not released it to us yet. Hopefully it'll be out next week. We'll see, guys. We'll see how that works out. So I have to use a TV cut. And you guys know when it comes to the TV cut, there are certain things you cannot say definitively. So there will be some things I will have to leave a little open-ended just because I cannot tell enough from a TV cut to give you a definitive answer about things. Now, I just want to jump in real quick and just say an overarching theme of what I saw here, guys, which is rotation on the defensive line, rotation at the linebacker position, and then even some movement from the secondary between cover two and cover four. I couldn't really, you know, without seeing the all-22 guys, it's really hard to distinguish those at times. And then there was definitely some adjustment into a cover three concept down around the red zone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's just jump right into the film and let's talk about what we saw from the first drive. First play of the game, guys, what I notice here is an under front from the defensive line. Uh, Javon Hargrave was our nose tackle. We had a five technique towards the defensive uh, right side of the formation in Fletcher Cox. You can see Jannard Avery is out there as the Sam linebacker who's kind of stacked over top, over top of that tight end. And then on the opposite side here, what we call the back side of the offense or the weak side, you have Brandon Graham in there as the three technique, and you have a joker who's either in a seven or a nine. I can't really tell from this angle, guys, but he's a joker. He's a stand-up rush uh, defensive lineman here in Derek Barnett. I mean, they hit us with a little play action. It's effective. You know, they kind of find a little hole inside of our zone, and then Ridley, being a very good route runner, sits down in that zone. You know, those things happen. You'll make adjustments when that happens a couple of times. Second play of the game. I see a bear front, guys. I see a modern adaptation of a bear front. And I really want my, I want my lineman, you defensive lineman, you offensive lineman, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys were always talking back and forth in the comments. I want your opinion on what you're seeing here. I'm calling it a bare front because I see two guards in a center covered. It's a modern adaptation, clearly. But to me, this is a bare front. There's just no other way I would describe this front. It's a bare front to me. You got a, a nose here. It's Hargrave. You got a three technique in Grand. You got a three technique in Fletch. Uh, Avery is lined up once again in that Sam linebacker positioning. And you got Derek Barnett over there is the Joker, stand-up Joker on the left side of the formation. Uh, defensive left, I should say. I, obviously, modern adaptation here. You see we got a couple of guys kind of playing that, you know, that, that role. We got a Joker up here. Then we got another guy that's lined up as a Sam linebacker who's, you know, kind of doing what, what Gannon likes to do here. So it's clearly an adaptation of things. Um, I will say that we could see that they were concerned about the running game here. When you're in a bare front, you're, you're there to stop the run. And I... I'll be honest. I think the defensive line, for the most part, did its job. I mean, you know, it was a backside kind of play here where they, they flowed one way and they came back the other side. And to be honest with you, if Jannard Avery doesn't lose his feet there and keeps backside containment, that play's probably shut down. This is probably a, a net positive result from the defense. Avery loses his foot. He falls to the ground. There's a wide open lane now for the running back and turns into a huge gainer. Uh, that's one of those things to where circumstance, you know, first game, circumstances... They kind of got away with one on that one, in my opinion. Third play of the game. Uh, I'm going to call this as an over front. Some of, these, some of this stuff, guys, you have to understand it's a little harder to say over or, or under because, you know, the, the Falcons run a kind of unique offense to where they will use some 21 and 22, man. They got guys like, you know, uh, Cordell Patterson, who's really like a running back, who was a converted wide receiver, wearing number 84. Like, it makes it difficult to say how the defense is identifying strong side versus backside when you have dual wings and stuff like that, that makes it difficult because that's really the, that's the defense that identifies 
which side they say is the strong, which side they say is the weak, and then obviously where they consider the back side versus the strong side or the play side, that's completely different, guys, because that changes if it's an over and under front. So I'm taking some educated guesses here. Nose tackle, once again, is Hargrave. Uh, your right side five technique here is Fletcher Cox. Your three technique to the left side, defensive left, guys, is Brandon Graham. We have a right side Sam linebacker and Avery once again. And you got your left side Joker and Derek Barnett. Like I said, guys, it could be an over, could be an under. I'm going to call it an over just because I don't consider Cordell Patterson to be a tight end. But they might have seen this differently. You know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, Fletch got penetration on this one. And it stinks because, you know, it's one of these things to where you're dealing with a timing and a rhythm play here. And if, it, you know, one second longer, and it's it's definitely, you know what I'm saying, like a split second longer, and it's a really, really positive play for the defense here. But they had a game plan in place here, guys, and they were working that game plan. Fourth play of the game. To me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I want your opinion on my defense alignment and my offense alignment because I'm not working on a 22. I'm working on a TV copy. This looks like a pro front to me, and it's a modern adaptation of a pro front, I think. The first thing I'm going to tell you is we have one of our first kind of changes in the game. We're coming out of a 43 base. Now we're in a sub package, so we're, we're in nickel. And you can see Avante Maddox, it looks like to me, is on the field here. But what I do notice, and the reason I'm calling it a pro front, is we have seven players in the box, and those linebackers are stacked. They're stacked linebackers. There's seven in the box, stacked linebackers, with Avante Maddox kind of coming down, you know, He's not really a linebacker, guys, but he's kind of playing the role as one. So, to me, I would call this some kind of a modern adaptation of a pro front. You know, it's one of those things where it's technically an over front, guys. You know, all all pro fronts are over fronts, but not over fronts are pro fronts. It's one of those situations, guys. But, you know, you got, once again, those tackles, Javon Hargrave. Uh, you have a seven slash kind of nine technique out there in Derek Barnett. Your three technique is Fletcher Cox. And then you got Brandon Graham also in a seven or a nine technique. So, we're already seeing some rotation going on here so we got nickel base and got rotation over here or sub subbing going on at linebacker with alex singleton entered in a game with levante maddox and nickel backs i mean definitely we're already starting to see a little bit of wrinkles here and you got you know graham being kicked out from a three technique now it's more of a pass rushing you know seven nine technique type positioning here i will say that our linebackers get held by the play action here um they did a really good job selling that play action our linebackers were absolutely fooled but boy, did, did Darius Slay do an incredible job here getting out there and shutting this down, right? And this was definitely it was a tough look because it's 22-man personnel, right? You got uh, Calvin Ridley on the left side, offensive left, with Cordell Patterson. And then on the offensive right, you got Kyle Pitts out there uh, with the, the other tight end, number 81. So, I mean, you got, you know, a winged formation, wide receivers tight. You got play action. It's just a really, really disciplined job by Darius Slay being where he's supposed to be and shutting that down. That was a really good play from Darius Slay, to be quite honest. Fifth play of the game. Third and five, our first third down, and we're going to see more wrinkles here. So for the first time in the game, we see a different nose tackle. This time, Fletcher Cox is in there on a pass rushing down as a nose tackle. Uh, your three technique is Hargrave. Looks like to me, it could be Williams, but I'm pretty sure it's Hargrave. Uh, your seven or your nine technique out there, that's Barnett. That's Derek Barnett. And you got a five technique um, on the other side of the formation there. So you got uh, BG out there. This is just a, a simple third and five. It's a speed out completion. Clearly, we can see this is part of, an essential part of the Atlanta game plan. This is to get the ball out of Matt Ryan's hands fast into completions, not allow that defensive line to, to take over. And to be honest with you, it's a great solid ga game plan until the defense starts coming down in the coverage and starts playing you tighter because we were definitely getting through it and, and penetrating on that offensive line all game long, guys. All right, y'all, sixth play of the game. This is the defensive line substitution. Uh, this is the second line comes in on this one. So you got a 7 or a 9 technique to the defensive right side of Josh Sweat. You have a nose tackle, this time of Ridgeway, so our third nose tackle in the game here with Ridgeway. You got a 3 technique on the left side of Williams, which is interesting that he's playing a 3 technique. And you got a, a 5 technique here of Kerrigan. So Williams is coming in, showing versatility. He's inside as a defensive lineman, kind of playing out there. I will say the one thing I noticed here is, like, you can tell Josh Sweat's in the game. Just look at the athleticism here, guys. Look at that bend. Look at that twist coming around the corner. Like, man, Josh Sweat is he's athletically crazy talented, guys. Really crazy talented football player. All right, seventh play of the game. We're in an under front here. So, under front, it's a second in, in 10 on this play here. Uh, Sam linebacker here is Avery down. You can kind of tell where he's at sticking out over there. You got a 
a five technique or a four technique, and it's kind of hard to tell about having the all 22 guys. That's uh, Williams this time playing a defensive end alignment. Ridgeway, once again, is your nose tackle. You got a three technique this time as Kerrigan kind of playing that, you know, that Brandon Graham role. And then Josh Wett is lined up as the Joker on this one. I will say that I thought Ridgeway did a fairly good job at the point of attack against an inside zone play of, of making them have to really commit, you know, bodies to take him out of the hole. But nitpicking it, I don't think he engaged the lower core of his body the right way. I don't think he shot his hips into that play quite correctly which does allow them to slowly, I mean, they struggled with it, but they did slowly remove him from his gap responsibility there. But nonetheless, I still thought he did an overall good job there. And it gets us into a third and seven situation to where, once again, we're going to see a rotation here. We're going to see a little different. We're going to get a little B-gap linebacker, you know, package here. I think this is Wilson that's up on the line, but, you know, for not being all 22 guys, I can't say. It could be Avery technically, but I, I do think this is Wilson that you've seen the B-gap as the linebacker there. You got a seven technique as Josh Sweat. You got a seven technique as Kerrigan. Seven or nine, who can tell, guys? It's hard to say. But this time what we're doing is we're rotating back in our starting defensive tackles. So we got Hargrave and Fletch out there with the backup defensive ends and Kerrigan and Sweat. Um, we really love our rotation along the defensive line, guys. That's that's what I saw here from this play. Um, I, I thought that, you know, Ryan did a really good job of standing in there and taking a hit because... You know, look, the inner the inner pocket got collapsed by Fletch and Hargrave. He knew he was going to take that hit from Hargrave, and Hargrave got one on him. You could see it. So, I mean, it was a good job. You know, you got to give guys credit when they do something right. He just stood in there, and he, you know, he made a really good throw with anticipation and, and took a big hit from that as a result of it. Uh, ninth play of the game is going to be, uh, I think it's an illegal procedure. We might have had 12 men on the field. I can't remember exactly. Uh, they're coming out. It's an over front. It's a first and 10 situation here where they had... Uh, originally, they were going to have Sweat and Brandon Graham in here, so we're going to see the first time where they kind of rotated uh, Barnett with Graham still in the game, but they had Sweat ro rotating in for, for Barnett with our starting, you know, kind of weird alignment here because we had Kerrigan, we had Graham, we had Hargrave, we had Fletch. I mean, it, it was just a weird kind of situation of the rotation here, guys, but penalty kind of kills that play. So we go into a first and five now. Now it's becoming the official ninth play around the 11.36 mark of the first quarters, guys. This is the first time I'm noticing distinctly, and I'm not saying it is the first time. It's the first time it popped on my radar. The Eagles are not playing a quarters or a cover two in this one. This is clearly cover three. And you can see defensive line here. You got Barnett as a joker. Uh, you got Avery as a Sam linebacker. Uh, three technique is Brandon Graham. Zero technique are the nose in this situation is Hargrave. You got Fletch there, kind of playing a four or a five technique, guys. Um, this is the play that where Brandon Graham almost killed that running back. It just, you know, defensive line is taking over this game. It, that's the one thing I did notice, guys, is watching this again. It was quite obvious this defensive line was going to gain control of this football game. To me, it was evident once you really, really ran back the copy here. Tenth play of the game, over front, in my opinion. Uh, you got a seven technique in Barnett. You got a five technique in Graham. Three technique in, in Fletcher Cox. You got Hargrave there as your nose tackle. It's a... Uh, cover three again situation here. We see they go motion. We say Maddox kind of follows it here. I really thought the defense did a good job minus Maddox just kind of missing the tackle here. I mean, in my opinion, we did a pretty good job of, the, you know, they're checking cover one, cover three. What are we in? They're moving. They're giving us a little bit of pre-snap motion here. Maddox has got to do more than just dive at the feet there. And I thought Maddox had an overall really, really good game. But in that situation, you, you got to be a little bit more present in tackling there. You can't just dive at a guy's feet. They pick up a first down pretty much as a result of that play, guys. They come out now. We're in the 11th game or 11th play of the game at this point. Over front, once again, you got Barnett, Cox, Hargrave, Graham on the field. Avery's out on the field as a Sam linebacker. A lot of, a lot of Sam, guys. Play, we played a lot of base here. You got Graham as a three technique. Hargrave is your nose tackle. Cox is in a five technique. Barnett's is a joker. Good hand fight this time. This is a really good fight from Graham. Uh, it was a, also a really nice flow by T.J. Edwards because they, you know, I'll be honest with you, a more shifty, faster back may have had a shot at really getting pretty close to the goal line there, but I thought that in particular, I thought T.J. Edwards and Brandon Graham flowed really well in this play and kind of fought their way back to, to shut that down and, you know, make it into a second and goal situation. 12th play of the game, 10-13 mark. We're in the over front once again. Got Barnett, Cox, Hargrave, Graham on the field as your uh, defensive lineman with Avery once again. Uh, Avery is your Sam linebacker. Graham's a three technique. Hargrave's your nose tackle. Butcher Cox is playing a five technique. Barnett's standing up as a joker. So, this was a unique protection coming from Atlanta. 
They ended up pulling both guards, kind of in a unique kind of pull protection situation here. I will say, though, what this ends up doing is, is Matt Ryan misses probably an opportunity to beat our, our linebackers in their zone. But the reason he missed that opportunity is, is they had a running back singled up on Fletcher Cox. And I think Matt Ryan saw that and said, you know what, I'll just live to play another down because I'm not trying to get Fletcher Cox running me over on this play. I did think that one thing you could kind of rewind back and watch here is that I thought initially Wallace lost position here, but I thought that, uh, you know, Kayvon Wallace coming in, rotating in for Epps after he left with the concussion. I thought it was a really good job by Wallace of, of recovery and getting back into a really good position there. Uh, I, I thought that was a really good job coming out of like kind of a cover two quarters type look here. 13th and final play of the first uh, drive of the game, guys. 10.07 mark, first quarter. It's an over front, Barnett, Cox, Hargrave, and Kerrigan. So Kerrigan kind of rotating in. Kerrigan, once again, playing that role of, of Brandon Graham, bouncing inside as a three technique. Hargrave is your nose tackle. Cox is a five technique. you got a joker here in Barnett. Uh, this looks like a cover two kind of situation to me here. Uh, Ryan got away with almost throwing an interception. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought that, um, number one, look what Javon Hargrave does to this the center. I mean, he's folding him. He's folding him like a sandwich out there. I mean, it, it, just incredible pass rush on almost every play, guys. The other thing is the communication on the back end of the defense. Watch Steven Nelson and what he does. He's communicating. He turns free. I, I, I think that's Calvin Ridley. He's turning free to Harrison or to Harris. And then you can see he, he cuts back down because he sees what's going on, sees that communication, comes back down, and almost comes away with an interception, guys. I mean, that was a really, really smart play that just shows you just how well the secondary is playing as well. I liked what I saw, guys. When you really break down what we saw here, I mean, at least three separate fronts and what I think is a modern adaptation of a bear, an over and under front. Uh, I think you can make an argument that that might be a, an adaptation of, of a pro defensive front too, but it's really just a, a variation of an over front, to be quite honest. Three separate nose tackles, guys. Some other notes here. Uh, Hargrave, Fletch, and Ridgeway. I saw Hargrave as the normal in-and-out kind of nose tackle. Fletcher Cox is more so the third in long pass rushing situations nose tackle. And then Ridgeway is your rotational guy that you bring in to, to spell guys. Fletch was moved all around, guys, from five technique to three technique to a nose tackle. I love that. Keep moving Fletch around. It's going to eventually get home. He's going to get home, and he's going to have a really productive year. I want to, I want to keep seeing that, right? Uh, Graham and I love the way that they're playing Graham, Milton Williams, and Ryan Kerrigan. They'll flex them as a five technique. They'll flex them as a, a stand-up joke. Well, we haven't seen that from Milton Williams, but a five technique. They'll bounce them inside as a three technique. You know, with Kerrigan and with Graham, I, I think that they'll even play them as a stand-up joker. We'll see if they do that with Milton Williams or not. But I think those three guys in particular, the versatility they're showing in this defense, you know, that could be interesting because you got Fletch who can basically stand up as a joker from time to time. I'm sorry. Not Fletch, guys. <laughs> My bad, guys. I think you have Brandon Graham who can stand up as a, you know, in that positioning as a joker from time to time. You got, you know, a guy like Kerrigan who can play the AV role as a Sam linebacker and those under front looks that they give you at times. You got Milton Williams who gives you some of that versatility bouncing inside as a three technique. I mean, I, I like what they're doing with those guys a lot. First team line, it was Barnett, Graham, Fletch, and Hargrave, but a lot of substitution, a lot of rotation, guys. I really don't think it matters who starts because they're going to be moving those guys a lot, in my opinion. I really don't think it matters. Uh, linebackers, I noticed like right around the fourth play of the game, we saw some rotation coming in. Substitution at linebackers, sixth play of the game on the defensive line. Sweat, Ridgeway, Williams, and Kerrigan seems to be the second line defensively on the D-line. Pretty good line, by the way. Um, internet, really, really interesting stuff with, with Josh Sweat, the athleticism. Keeping this guy fresh. Boy, you keep Josh Sweat fresh for the season, guys. He's going to be really, really good. Josh Sweat might have double-digit sacks, guys. I mean, he's just a whole other level of athletic out there at times. And the other guy that I'm really pleased with, Javon Hargrave is just really good. Javon Hargrave had a really good game, guys. I'm excited, guys. I don't think it was that bad. I think some of it was circumstance. I think we made a few minor adjustments in terms of how we wanted to play the run to shut that down. You know, we stopped overselling on the play-action stuff. And I think you saw a difference, right? We saw the, the secondary get a little bit more aggressive past the first couple of possessions. That secondary started coming up and playing a little more and making it a little harder for Matt Ryan just to fit balls into these, you know, underneath zone windows. And as a result, guys, we walked away with a W. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all's time and attention. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you saw. What did you see from this defense? What, what are you guys excited about? All right, y'all, I will catch you guys on the next video.